Hello there, it's Bridie here and I am here today to share with you a delicious vegan quiche recipe. Yes, vegan quiches do exist and they taste fantastic. So the first thing that we have to do is to peel and chop, finely chop an onion. We finely chop the onion because we're going to be roasting all of the vegetables in the um, oven before we add the quiche mixture. So I'm chopping up the onion here as finely as I can. I don't have great knife skills, so this is as fine as I can get it. I care, but not that much. And then I just put that to one side. The next thing you will do is to finely chop your zucchini uh, into chunks that are about, I don't know, half a centimetre small. The last thing that you will be chopping up is a potato. I kept the skins on for this purpose and uh, I just chopped them to a very similar size to the zucchini and the onion. Then I grabbed a square Pyrex bowl. Uh, it's about 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters and I put a glob of olive oil and added the vegetables and gave them a stir so they were all coated. And pop them into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, stirring a couple of times. The oven should be at 200 degrees. So now it's time for the quiche mixture. I am putting 500 grams of silken tofu into my blender. I have a high speed blender, but you don't need to have a high speed blender for this. Uh, so this is 500 grams of silken tofu. To the blender I also added three tablespoons of nutritional yeast and I added a teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder. So added one teaspoon of turmeric to give it that yellow colour. Some cornstarch, five tablespoons. And baking powder, two teaspoons of that. And add one teaspoon of salt and plenty of ground black pepper. And three tablespoons of earth balance. Then you blend it all up. And this is the consistency that you get after it's completely blended. You'll see that it's quite thick but pourable um, and that is going to set really nicely in the oven just like a quiche made out of eggs would. So take the vegetables out of the oven and just give them a stir. Make sure all of the stuck bits off the bottom are loose so that your quiche mixture can get into all the um, corners. Now this quiche mix just seemed to have a life of its own look. See, watch, see that, and that, and then like I go and wipe it up, and then see what happens. Just wait, it's hilarious. Look, how did that happen? Anyway, so spoon the quiche mixture into the pan and then stir it all through. If you want to make it super authentic, then you can slice 
a tomato and place it on top of the quiche. So then place it into the oven for 20 minutes or so at 200 degrees Celsius. Uh, you'll know when it is ready to take out, when it is set. You can press slightly the middle of the quiche and if it bounces back and doesn't feel too soft and squishy, then you'll know that it is ready. Now with this quiche, I recommend that you wait up to half an hour, 20 minutes to half an hour before you serve this, just so that it firms up a little bit and you can cut it and get it out of the pan pretty easily, just like you would do with quiche made out of eggs. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you do, please give it a thumbs up or send me a comment letting me know that uh, you like it and uh, I'll be back with you next week for another video. Thanks so much for watching.